This video will look at what happens to spent nuclear fuel. There are two options to deal with spent fuel, recycling and storage. Spent fuel can potentially be recycled into fissile material in a breeder reactor. There are two storage considerations, short-term storage and long-term storage. For short-term storage, the fuel rods are placed into stainless steel racks. These racks can hold dozens of fuel rods. These racks are then placed in fuel pools. The pools are made of concrete lined with stainless steel. The spent fuel pools are filled so that there is 20 feet of water between the spent fuel and the water surface. The water provides biological shielding against radiation. After the spent fuel has been placed in a pool for five years or more, it is ready for dry cask storage. The fuel rods are put into a lead-lined concrete cask, which is then sealed. These casks are then stored on site at nuclear power plants. Long-term storage for spent nuclear fuel is a difficult problem to tackle. The Department of Energy received approval in 2002 to build a storage facility inside Yucca Mountain in the Nevada desert. The funding for this site was terminated in 2011. Proponents of the Yucca Mountain project believed the cut in funding to be a purely political move, while opponents of the project point to issues over increased radiation exposure to the area, as well as possible groundwater contamination. The Yucca Mountain project is currently considered to be dead. Another option for long-term storage is the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant. In this plant, the spent fuel and other nuclear waste will be stored in rooms that are over 2,000 feet below ground. These rooms have been excavated within an underground salt formation. Over time, high pressure on this salt formation will cause the salt to close in around the waste and entomb it. This facility was approved by Congress in 1992. The facility is overseen by the New Mexico Environmental Evaluation Group which was formed to verify statements, facts, and studies related to the facility, and to ease public fears about the facility within the community. I hope that you have found this video to be informative. Thank you for watching.